Prophecies and Predictions of the Holy Quran Linguistic and scientific wonders are not the only miracles conveyed through the Holy Quran, as it also contains prophecies that have since been realized. The Holy Quran provides many predictions related to future events. All of these Quranic predictions manifested as predicated. Among the many accurate futuristic predictions made in these pages is the bold claim of the victory of the Byzantine Empire over the Persian Empire. In the early 7th century, the Byzantine and Persian empires were the two great global empires ruling and competing at the time. The Byzantines suffered a severe defeat in their fight against the Persians at the time, which seemed to doom the empire. The Holy Quran stated that while the Byzantines did experience an initial loss during wartime, they would emerge victorious within three to nine years. They did indeed reign victorious, a fact that no one could have anticipated. God, the Almighty, states, The Byzantines have been defeated in the nearest land, but they, after their defeat, will overcome within three to nine years. To Allah belongs the command before and after, and that day the believers will rejoice in the victory of Allah. He gives victory to whom he wills, and he is exalted in might, the merciful. Quran, chapter 30, verses 2 through 5. Not only did this prediction come to fruition, but this verse referenced the fact that, in geographic terms and as conveyed in the Arabic language, the Romans were defeated in the lowest land. We later came to find via modern satellite images that the location of their defeat is, indeed, the lowest point on the face of the Earth. This vicinity boasted the lowest altitude on Earth, 400 meters below sea level. The Pharaoh, who lived in the time of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, had power and wealth. He even arrogantly proclaimed himself to be God. He eventually drowned. His fate stood as the direct punishment for his arrogance. In a verse of the Holy Quran, God stated that he would preserve the Pharaoh's body as a sign for those who came after him. His body was discovered in 1898. In the early 70s, his corpse was examined. It was discovered through intense investigation of his mummy that he had died from direct water infiltration into his lungs, providing conclusive proof of a drowning death. It was also proven that he lived at the time of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. God preserved his body forever as a sign and lesson for humanity, as he had promised in his final revelation. This body is displayed in a museum and often tours the world for everyone to see. So today we will save you in body that you may be to those who succeed you a sign. And indeed, many among the people of our signs are heedless. Quran, chapter 10, verse 92. After the idol worshippers forced Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the Muslims to flee the holy land of Mecca, they settled in the city of Medina. These idol worshippers continued persecuting the Muslims and tried to cease the spread of the message of Islam. The Holy Quran stated that Muslims would re-enter the sacred house of Allah, Mecca, victoriously in a state of security. This prediction was realized in the eighth year of the Hijra, with Muslims going forth with their hair shaved or cut short. As the verse states, they performed a pilgrimage and fulfilled the rituals without fear. Indeed, Allah has made true to his messenger the dream shown with truth. You will definitely enter the sacred mosque in Nasha Allah, if Allah wills, peacefully, with your heads shaved and your hairs cut short, having no fear. So he knew what you did not know, and he assigned before that a victory near at hand. Quran, chapter 48, verse 27. Many other prophecies fill the Holy Quran. For instance, God's claim that he would safeguard and protect his final book to humanity, the Holy Quran, from human-made alterations or any form of corruption. As stated in a previous chapter, the Holy Quran remains in the same way it arrived, letter by letter. Indeed, it is we who sent down the message, i.e. the Quran, and indeed we will be its guardian. Quran, chapter 15, verse 9. The Holy Quran also contains God's claim that he rendered the Holy Quran easy to memorize. Today, hundreds of thousands of people have memorized the entire book, which contains more than 600 pages. Millions of people have memorized the text regardless of their ethnicity and language. 
this is the only book on earth that is easy to memorize. And indeed, we have already made the Quran easy for remembrance. Are there any that will recollect? Quran, chapter 54, verse 17.